ellipses and hyperbolas. There are four types of curves that are cross sections of cones. Circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. Circle, when a plane crosses a cone horizontally, it forms a circle. Ellipse. When the plane crosses the cone at an angle, it forms an ellipse. Parabola. When a plane partially crosses a cone, it creates a parabola. Hyperbola. When a plane vertically crosses a cone, it creates a hyperbola. Equation of an ellipse. An equation that can be put into the form x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1, where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, has an ellipse as its graph. An ellipse has four intercepts at the order pair a0, at the order pair negative a0, at the order pair 0b, and the order pair 0, negative b. In this example, graph the equation by hand. x squared divided by 4 plus y squared divided by 36 equals 1. This matches my equation x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. In order to graph my ellipse, I need to find my x-intercepts and my y-intercepts. To find my x-intercepts, I need to find a squared. a squared is equal to 4, which means a is equal to 2. My x-intercepts are 2, 0 and negative 2, 0. Once I've plotted those points, I'm ready to find my y-intercept. For the y-intercept, I need to find b. b squared is equal to 36 which means b equals 6. So my y-intercepts are 0, 6 and 0, negative 6. Once I've plotted those points, I have my four intercepts and I can graph my ellipse. So now I have the graph of x squared divided by 4 plus y squared divided by 36 equals 1. In this example, graph the equation by hand. x squared divided by 81 plus y squared divided by 25 equals 1. I know this is an ellipse because of the plus sign, and it matches our equation x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. Find the x-intercept. a squared is equal to 81. The square root of 81 is 9, so a equals 9. So my x-intercepts are 9, 0 and negative 9, 0. Now I'm ready to find the y-intercepts. b squared equals 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so b is 5. That means that my y-intercepts are the order pairs 0, 5, and 0, negative 5. Once I've plotted the four intercepts, I can draw the ellipse. So now I have the graph of the equation x squared divided by 81 plus y squared divided by 25 equals 1. In this example, graph the equation by hand 4x squared plus 49y squared equals 196. Because of the plus sign, I know I have an ellipse. The problem is my equation should be x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. My first step is to get it equal to 1. If I divide 196 by 196, that result will be 1. What I do to the right side of the equation, I have to do to the left side of the equation. So I have 4x squared 
divided by 196 and 49y squared divided by 196. Now I need to reduce those fractions. Going to my calculator, my first fraction is 4 divided by 196. If I go to my math menu, choose number 1 frac, enter, it reduces to 1 over 49, which means I'll have x squared divided by 49. My second fraction was 49 divided by 196, math, one fraction, enter, and that reduces to one fourth. So I will have y squared divided by four. So my equation becomes x squared divided by 49 plus y squared divided by four equals one. Now I can find a. a squared equals 49. The square root of 49 is seven, so a is seven. My x-intercepts are the ordered pairs 7, 0, and negative 7, 0. Now I'm ready to find my y-intercept. Since b squared is equal to 4, square root of 4 is 2, b equals 2. My y-intercepts are the order pair 0, 2, and the order pair 0, negative 2. Now that I have the four intercepts, I can draw my ellipse. So I have the graph of the equation 4x squared plus 49y squared equals 196. Equation of a hyperbola. An equation that can be put into one of the following forms has a hyperbola as its graph. An equation that can be put into the form x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1, where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, is a hyperbola with x-intercepts negative a0 and a0. There are no y-intercepts. I can distinguish the difference between an ellipse and a hyperbola because a hyperbola will always have a minus sign in the middle. I know my hyperbola will only have x-intercepts if x squared over a squared is positive and y squared over b squared comes after the minus sign, making that fraction negative. When I draw my hyperbola, I have what looks like two parabolas, one on the left with a vertex of negative a0 and one on the right with a vertex of positive a0. An equation that can be put into one of the following forms has a hyperbola as its graph. An equation that can be put into the form y squared divided by b squared minus x squared divided by a squared equals 1, where a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, is a hyperbola with y-intercepts 0 negative b and 0 positive b. There are no x-intercepts. Again, the minus sign tells me I have a hyperbola. When I have y-intercepts only, the y squared divided by b squared is my positive fraction and the x squared divided by a squared is the negative fraction because it follows the minus sign. The graph of my hyperbola looks like two parabolas, one opening up with a vertex of 0b and one opening down which has a vertex of 0, negative b. Equation of a hyperbola. The dashed lines that go through the opposite corners of the dashed rectangles are inclined isotopes. The dashed rectangle and the inclined isotopes are not parts of the hyperbola. Looking at the hyperbola with x intercepts, I draw the dashed rectangle through a and b, negative a and negative b by going through the corners of the rectangle and the origin of the graph. Then I go to the opposite corners of my rectangle and the origin of the graph to draw the second inclined isotope. Then I draw my parabolas. They come close to the dotted line but don't go through it. 
For hyperbola with y-intercepts only, I start the same way by graphing my rectangle that goes through my points for a, b, negative a, and negative b. Then I draw my inclined isotopes through the opposite corners of the rectangle and the origin of the graph. Then I draw my second inclined isotope through the other opposite corners of the rectangle and the origin of the graph. Then I draw a parabola with a vertex of b and a parabola with the vertex at negative b. In this example, graph the equation by hand. x squared divided by 25 minus y squared divided by 4 equals 1. I know this is a hyperbola because of the minus sign. Because the x squared over 25 comes first, I can match it to the equation x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. a squared is equal to 25, which means a will be equal to plus or minus 5. So I want a dot at the order pair 5, 0 and the order pair negative 5, 0 b squared is equal to 4, which means b will be equal to plus or minus 2, which means I'm going to have a dot at 0, 2 and 0, negative 2. Since I am graphing a hyperbola, I need these four dots to create my rectangle. Then I want to draw one of my inclined isotopes through the opposite corners of my rectangle and the origin. Then I want to draw my other inclined isotope through the other set of opposite corners of my rectangle and the origin of my graph. Now that I have my inclined isotopes, I can draw my hyperbola. Because x squared divided by 25 comes first, since x squared divided by 25 is to the left of my minus sign, I'm going to have x-intercepts of the order pairs 5, 0 and negative 5, 0. I'm ready to draw a parabola on the left with a vertex of negative 5, 0 and a parabola on the right with a vertex of 5, 0. So now I have a graph of the equation x squared divided by 25 minus y squared divided by 4 equals 1. In this example, graph the equation by hand y squared divided by 49 minus x squared divided by 4 equals 1. I have a minus sign, so I know I have a hyperbola. Since the y squared over 49 is to the left of my minus sign, I can match it to the equation y squared divided by b squared minus x squared divided by a squared equals 1. Now I want to match my a squared to 4 because 4 is underneath the x squared, which means a is going to equal plus or minus 2. So I'm going to have a point at 2, 0, and I'm going to have a point at negative 2, 0. Now I'm ready to match my b squared to 49, since 49 is underneath my y squared. b squared equals 49, which means b is equal to plus or minus 7. So I have a point at 0, 7, and I have a point at 0, negative 7. Now that I have my four points, I'm ready to draw my rectangle. I choose opposite corners of my rectangle and the origin to draw my first inclined isotope. Then I go to the other opposite corners of my rectangle and the origin to draw the second inclined isotope. Now that I have my inclined isotopes, I need to decide if I have x-intercepts or y-intercepts. Since y squared divided by 49 is to the left of my minus sign, I have y-intercepts at 0, 7 and 0, negative 7. I want to draw a parabola that opens up with a vertex at 0, 7 and a parabola that opens down 
with a vertex at 0, negative 7. So now I have the graph of the equation y squared divided by 49 minus x squared divided by 4 equals 1. In this example, graph the equation by hand, 64y squared minus x squared equals 64. I have a minus sign, so I know I have a hyperbola. Since the y squared comes first, it matches the equation. y squared divided by b squared minus x squared divided by a squared equals 1. Since this doesn't equal 1, I need to divide the 64 by 64 so it will equal 1. If I divide the right side of my equation by 64, I have to divide the left side of my equation by 64. So I have 64y squared divided by 64 minus x squared divided by 64. 64 divided by 64 is 1, so I have y squared divided by 1 minus x squared divided by 64 equals 1. My a squared is under x squared, which means a squared equals 64. Since the square root of 64 is 8, I know that a equals plus or minus 8. I'll have a point at 8, 0 and negative 8, 0. My b squared is under my y squared, so b squared equals 1. The square root of 1 is 1. b equals plus or minus 1. This means I have a point at 0, 1 and 0, negative 1. Now that I have my four points, I'm ready to draw my rectangle. I want to draw my inclined isotopes through the opposite points of the rectangle and the origin. Now I need to decide if I'm going to have x-intercepts or y-intercepts. Since y squared divided by 1 is to the left of the minus sign, I'm going to have y-intercepts of 0, 1 and 0, negative 1. I want to draw a parabola that opens up with a vertex of 0, 1, and a parabola that opens down with a vertex of 0, negative 1. Now I have the graph of the equation 64y squared minus x squared equals 64. In this example, graph the equation by hand 9x squared minus y squared equals 81. I have a minus sign, so I know I have a hyperbola. Since the x squared is to the left of the minus sign, it best matches the equation x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. In order to get it to equal 1, I need to divide by 81. If I divide the right side of the equation by 81, I need to also divide 9x squared by 81 and y squared by 81. 9 over 81 reduces to 1 ninth, so I have x squared divided by 9 minus y squared divided by 81 equals 1. a squared is under my x squared, so a squared is equal to 9. The square root of 9 is 3, so a equals plus or minus 3. So I have a point at 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. My b squared is under the y squared, so b squared equals 81. The square root of 81 is 9, so b equals plus or minus 9, which means I have a point at 0, 9 and 0, negative 9. Once I have my four points, I draw the rectangle. Using the opposite corners of the rectangle in the origin, I can draw my inclined isotopes. And now I need to decide if I have x-intercepts or y-intercepts. Since x squared divided by 9 is to the left of my minus sign, I have x-intercepts of 3, 0 and negative 3, 0. 
which means I have a parabola that opens to the left with a vertex of negative 3, 0, and a parabola that opens to the right with a vertex of 3, 0. So now I have the graph of the equation 9x squared minus y squared equals 81. Ellipses and hyperbolas. Equation of an ellipse is x squared divided by a squared plus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. The equation of ellipse will always equal 1 and will always have a plus sign. Equation of a hyperbola. Hyperbolas will always have a minus sign. They will also always equal 1. If my hyperbola has x-intercepts only, then I will have x squared divided by a squared minus y squared divided by b squared equals 1. If my hyperbola has y-intercepts only, I will have y squared divided by b squared minus x squared divided by a squared equals 1. 